Hey everyone, it's Bethany. Today I am going to be working on Unkitting Cozy Llama by Diamond Dots at Home. I don't have any Diamond Dots stored. These are my leftovers from previous kits. I never organized them. I went ahead and threw them in this Tupperware shoe box has a lid and I am going to begin my diamond dots drill collection I took a piece of foam board it's not the nicest cut but it is what it is I'm gonna upgrade this eventually but for now this is what I have I have <clears throat> these all these different colors of their ABs that I've collected in these cool containers and stuff. So pretty. And so I have ones that have boxes over here, my extra drills, which I'm going to organize after I unkit this, and the ABs, and then this is the space where I'm gonna put the extra drills that I'm unkitting right now. I don't have a lot of them, I am probably going to need to upgrade this eventually, but not now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, oh look, these can double stack. That's nice. So I can, I, there's still a lot of room in here. What I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to put them in baggies and then I'm going to put them in here. I have my baggies. I also want to label the bags so that I know what color is in there. So I have these multi-use labels that I'm going to write on. You could just write on the bag with like a Sharpie or something, but I want to put these labels on in case I want to reuse these bags. Um, the baggies are pretty inexpensive, but you know, it's still nice to conserve where you can. I have some pins. I'm hoping eventually I can get, I can transfer from these baggies into containers like this, but I gotta use, I gotta use these containers first. Or I could get some, but it's kind of nice just to have the same containers and, you know, we'll save some of the, we'll save some money by reusing those once they're empty. Like I said, that's a long ways from now. So first I'm going to label each of these. I am going to go ahead and just completely and fully do that. Of course, you don't have to keep your leftover drills after you finish a project, but I actually recommend it because sometimes you have a drill fall off your canvas and it's nice to have the exact one to be able to put on there. Um, also, it's helpful if you run out of drills on another project, that way you can just pull from your stash and start right away. A lot of the bigger companies will send you replacement drills if you run out or if you spill them, but I personally like to be able to have the drills on hand so that I don't have to wait for them to be shipped to me. Also, you can use your extra drills for other projects around the house. You wanna bling up something. Or if you are wanting to completely change the color of something on a canvas, if you have enough saved up drills, you can do that, which is pretty awesome, I think. Okay, so because Diamond Dots has its own numbering system, I'm going to be writing, I'm going to be writing the diamond dots code numbers on here. And there are conversion charts out there that you could use if you wanted to write it as a DMC. But I can always look that up later if I need to. So I would rather just have the diamond dot code on here. 
You could also do like a slash and then write the, the DMC. You could write both on here if you really wanted. I don't know if I should talk while I'm writing these down because I'll probably end up somehow writing the wrong number. Eight. Zero two six eight zero two five eight four I lost track of where I am. <laughs> See, even just even just uh, saying this out loud while I'm on camera is is difficult for me. Eight four three two eight four three one eight four three zero eight four. Two nine eight three five four eight four two zero eight four one nine eight three five three eight three five six looks like I'm gonna need another sheet Eight four four eight. Now, you know, now that I think about it, this one, this five zero zero one is an A B, and I do have this. So I think I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna pour those into this container, actually. Okay. Now I'm going to put the stickers onto the sheet, onto the bags. Um, hmm. I kind of like the idea of it being up here because it fits. It's better right there. But if they're up this, this way in the container, it's kind of nice for the numbers to be more towards the top, I think. So. I'm gonna go with that. I am going to go with that. Of course, I'm gonna have to be very precise. This 
is my first kitting down video. I think it'd go a lot faster and smoother if I wasn't needing to make the bags for these. Like for my other drills, I organize them by DMC number. And they're actually in baggies inside envelope inside of a plastic container bigger than this one. And so I just need, when I'm unkitting a regular kit, I just look for the envelope with the number and put the drills into there. So it's a little bit simpler. Although I think once I have this established, this will be simpler also it just takes time for some of these things at the initial setup and i'm hoping that this system ends up working for me it might not but it might if i could afford it i would just buy a bunch of elizabeth ward containers and bead storage solutions and put extra drills in that but yeah, <laughs> that would add up quick with all the different uh, containers you would need for this, for these many numbers. And I mean, this is only one kit and this is a smaller one. So you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of different, I've seen a lot of different drill storage ideas and if I just had unlimited funds to do whatever I wanted well like I said I would probably do the bead storage solutions containers but you know that is not that is not the way that things have been for me. So we gotta go, we gotta stick with the, we gotta stick with what we can. And for me right now, that is plastic bags and a shoe box. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I'm looking for eight, four, four, eight. I kind of did this backwards. I mean, I didn't do it backwards. This is actually the first one, but I have these two extra containers, so I want to get those out of the way so they're not taking up my space. Open up the bag, pour them in, close the bag, Put the bag in the box. I am not going to worry about organizing these in numerical order at this moment. I probably will when I take the time to go through and organize all these extra ones that I have. But for now and today, we're just gonna do it this way. Okay, I'm gonna go, oh, this isn't, this one isn't even open yet. I haven't even opened this one. <laughs> okay, well. It is time to open the container. It is sealed with this label. I like to go ahead and take the whole label off because the numbers on the top of the lid, whoopsie. The numbers on top of the lid and I think it leaves it a nice 
nicer smooth edge than if you try to cut part of the plastic because it's it's all from the lid to the bottom of the container it is all one plastic sticker basically so you either there is that yellow one that kind of snuck its way in there and I don't know if I would necessarily want that in inside of there I am spilling drills. If I take that yellow one out though, where else am I going to put it? Is it an AB or is it just a regular? I think it's an AB. Okay, we'll just leave it like that for now. So yeah, eventually I'd like to have all these containers and then I can just put them in there and it looks a little bit nicer. But for now, this is what we got. Okay. Get my phone out again with the pictures. I have a picture of the a picture of the symbols and the numbers that go with what number, which numbers. So 8444 is one. And it should be that they, it should be that I have it set up in a way that they will all be in order, but I like to double and triple check because you never know. So to all you diamond painters out there, I am curious to know if you are the type of people who save your leftover drills. Do you organize them separately so that you can use them for things later? Or do you throw them all in one container? Do you just get rid of them? What do you do? It's a lot of work for just a little bit of drills. But 
during those times, and they don't happen too often, but during those times when you really need them, I've never regretted the work that I've put in to save my extra drills. Is eight four four one. We are right on track. I've been checking each one of these before I put pour them in. And now see these since I just had them numbered one through in this case. 27. My containers are ready to be used for the next diamond painting that I do. I don't have to do anything special for that. Red. Got to pull back. Yeah, the last one that I used, there was a, a drill that fell out, and I mean, it's just one drill, but might as well save it since it's there and I know where it goes. All right, how are we doing over here? about halfway done everything is looking wonderful okay should be eight four four zero yep that's the number that I see coming up next
because these drills from Diamond Dots sparkle so much, I definitely would say that they're worth saving. I am very curious to see the new drills that Diamond Art Club is making. I haven't bought any new kits recently, so I don't know personally. I don't know from personal experience, but I have a suspicion that they're going to be more like these type. I could be wrong. I have no idea, but I'm very curious. I'm very curious to, to see. So if any of you guys find out, let me know. I mean, these are so, these drills are so sparkly and pretty. It would be worth replacing some of them in a different company's paintings even, I think. Just to give it a different sort of twinkle. Because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've noticed that the different, different companies, their drills, they all sparkle differently. Okay. That is all done. I'm going to throw this other little random yellow one in there. So if you're sorting them this way, you're in plastic bags, you're going to want to have a firm divider every now and then because these are flimsy they're just going to kind of crumple up and fall over on themselves but if you have a firm board every so often they'll be able to stand up straight and they'll stay straight of course the other thing that you need is to have it filled like Having all this space in between, that's really not very helpful. But for me, this works right now. I mean, those are not going anywhere. And I'm gonna be adding some more too. So there you have it. That is my new storage system for my extra diamond dot drills. And as time goes on and things evolve, I will probably change this system, but for now, this is gonna work really great for me. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.